things that we, that we clearly recognize is that we need to re-engage the community. I'm so happy to stand here in front of you tonight and see a full house of people. I made a comment the other day to uh, Father Fitzgerald uh, just in a conversation about catching up on things and I told him that, you know, for the first time in a long time, really since I've been here uh, since 2011, I can't think of a time that I've been more excited about getting our basketball season started with the new energy that Coach Smith and Coach Goodbar have brought to our programs. Uh, it's certainly a great time to be on the Hilltop. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2016-17 USF Dons. What's the focus, aside from setting a game plan and setting plays, what, what, what's the focus at this point? Because I know, I, I know you got to have some bonding. There's got to be, there's gotta be a, a, some trust between you, what you're selling, what the team is buying. Sure. You know, I think our focus has really been getting to know each other. I think I got hired on a Thursday and what we practiced like on Monday and, I, you know, that was Nia to me and, I, you know, Rachel was out there and, you know, six foot four. I think I did a lot of you go stand over there, you go stand over there. So I think we've come a long ways in three weeks of kind of figuring out strengths and weaknesses. Uh, we've got a nice offense that we're trying to put in place. I think the girls are really trying to figure out um, their roles and, you know, really transitioning to a uh, you know, regardless of whether I was here or not and our staff was here or not, um, they were going to have to transition into some new roles with the loss of two key players last year. So I think they've done a great job trying to adapt to, to new offenses and to um, figuring out <clears throat> just kind of who we are as a team because we'll have a definitely a different identity than the last year's team. I have really enjoyed getting to stay in the Bay Area. Um, I think as a, a young high schooler, I overlooked that. And I think I'm very happy that I ended up staying here. Um, Berkeley High was, got to play with some fantastic players. Um, you know, Brittany Boyd, who plays for the New York Liberty, she was one of my uh, role models and uh, feel very blessed to have played with her. And now here at USF to have played with um, Taylor and Z and uh, Paige Speets. Um, really a lot of just hard workers. Taylor and Z were the epitome of hard workers, and, and they taught me a lot, so. Ladies and gentlemen, for 2016-17. I asked Coach Gutenbauer, I'll, I'll ask you, when, when folks show up to see the Dons play, what kind of team are they expected to see? Guys with great attitudes, uh, great work ethic, and maybe the most important thing is getting guys that really want to be there, and that's a unique spot. It's in Manhattan. There's no other place like in the world very similar to USF. There's no other place like this. And I said in my press conference, the best, best city on the planet. I believe it. So happy to be here. So I think it's the deal is we get the right people on the bus and you'd be amazed what, what can happen. We have a lot of talent, a lot of young talent, and I think that we can just be very successful um, if we stay together. Um, maybe maybe as, as we progress and as we build together, um, just be a really good team in the future. Anybody my age certainly knows who Rick Barry is and trying to emulate Rick Barry and, and, and he could just do magical things on the court. He's one of the 50 greatest players in the history of the National Basketball Association. Just think about that. Now, come on up to the stage and give us his pearls of wisdom. Show your love for Rick Barry. Being able to stay focused for extended periods of time is the difference between being a good player and a great player. Good players will never be great if they don't know how to stay focused. To remain focused in the game as a coach, Kyle, Molly, they can get you to play hard. Because if you don't play hard, you're not going to play. But there's a huge difference between playing hard and playing focused. Because if you're not focused, you're going to be half a step late doing things. And those of you who know the game of basketball, if you're a half a step late, you're history. I didn't need to get by the guy that guarded me. I just needed to get him even with me. If I get my shoulder to him, I own him. The other thing that's important that I told my teams when I coached the minor leagues, that if we're going to have success, and you guys are already into your training and everything, you're going to take your ego and you put your ego in the closet. Because this is a team game. It's no longer about you. It's about the team. It's about what the team can achieve and what you can do as part of that team to help the team achieve that success. Incredibly important to do that. Uh, to bring up, uh, 
my good friend, Jack Boland, uh, to accept the 2016 Jim Bovelli Award. Well, thank you, Scott. And thank you, USF, for this recognition. You know, it's a, it's a true honor to receive the Jim Bovelli Award. But I also want to recognize my wife, Sue. Uh, Sue, who is equally devoted and dedicated to USF athletics, has been a part of this all the time. So thank you, Sue, for your support and dedication.